Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video here I am going to show you how to display a pop-up message using Snackbar. So we can begin with a new Android Studio project. Here I name it as Snackbar example. Select an empty activity. So here the project is created in Android Studio. Snackbar is not the direct part of Android framework. It is available with the design support library. So the first step we have to add the needed dependency for using design support library. So open the module level grid script file. Copy this statement. So here we can make a simple change. Design. So now sync project. So here the project sync finishes successfully. Now I am going to add some string resources. So open the resource folder, open values folder, open strings.xml. Here I add a string resource. Here I name it as offline message. And here is the message. Now go to the activity main.xml. So you can attach the snackbar to any layout object. But if you're using a coordinator layout, you will get more functionality of snackbar. So here the current root element is a constrained layout. I'm going to change that one into coordinator layout. So we need an ID for this layout. So until we specify ID. Uh, root to layout. I simply change the ID into root to layout. So now I'm going to add a button into this layout. So for that, I need a relative layout. Specify within the match parent. I do so much parent. Specify a button. Specify within to 250 dp. Now specify I can do content. Display pop up message. Now specify an on click method. Display pop up. Okay, now implement this method inside activity main. Okay, so now we can align this button at the center center in parent in the group. Okay. Now go to main activity. So first thing we have to create an object of snapper. So snapper. Snapper dot make. So you can call this method make. In that method you have to pass three parameters. First one is the view ID of the view. Uh, <laughs> that means the ID of the view in which you are going to attach the snack bar. In our case, it is a coordinator layout. Second parameter is the string ID. And last one is the duration of the snack bar. Okay. So call that method. So here our layout object is a coordinator layout. So our root ID. Here the ID is root layout. Second one is the string results. Here it is offline message. And final parameter is the duration of the snapbar. So I use the duration in the log. And finally, you have to call the show method on the snapbar. So snapbar dot show. This will display the snapbar. So now we can test it. So I run the project. So here the project available on this virtual device. So display this snapbar. So here is the pop-up message. Okay. So basically, after calling the show method on the snapbar object, the snapbar object reference no longer needed. So you can display the snapbar in one statement. So instead of a separate statement, you can use a single statement and finally call the show method on it.
okay so this is how we display a pop-up message using snackbar i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode